Moments of extreme logic or moments of suicide. Logic is very useful to conduct the material aspect of your life. If you want to do your business, you want to build a house, you want to do all the things in the world, you have to be logical, there is no other way to conduct it. Anything illogical generally in the West got labeled as madness or insanity. But here, we always saw the limitations of logic. This is the problem with us. To conduct the outside, we call the divine. To conduct the inward, we try to go at it logically. It does both don't work for us. When it comes to subjective dimensions of life, if you are not willing to step beyond the limitations of your logic, then nothing ever will happen. If I ask you to close your eyes and do something very simple, you sit here and calculate, okay, if I do this, what will I get, what will happen, this, 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 Nothing will ever happen to you. If anything beautiful has to touch you in your life, if meditation has to touch you, if love has to touch you, if bliss has to touch you, you must be illogical. Everything is logically correct but you have a long face because everything is correct with you. You're correct but life doesn't work like that. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, lying down in your bed, Think one hundred percent logically. Do not think of all those beautiful moments in your life. Do not go back to any experience which matters to you. Do not think of the birds in the sky, the sunrise, the flowers in your garden, your child's face or a loving moment in your life. Don't look at any of that. Just think logically. Now you actually have to get out of bed. That's not a small feat. And then you have to go to the toilet. Then you have to eat, work, eat, work, eat, go to sleep. Again tomorrow morning, same thing. Cut out the experiential aspect. Think of your life hundred percent logically and see. You have to do the same damn things for the next thirty, forty, fifty years. The same nonsense every day, every day, every day. Just think logically, is it worth it? No. Moments of extreme logic or moments of suicide. And all of you have been committing suicide like this, but you don't do anything these days in one shot. You do everything in installments. You're committing suicide also in installments. I want you to just look back, if you're unable to look back, when you go home today, I want you to rummage into your old pictures and see when you're five, six years of age, how your face was. It was like this. Now, it's getting longer and longer. If you have to step out of your logic, unless you do it in a certain way, it sounds senseless because right now, your idea of sense is only logical. But please see, the most beautiful moments in your life have happened to you only when you kept your logic aside a little bit. Logically examine your love affair and see, it'll be the most stupid thing you can do. Maybe it's the most beautiful thing in your life, but logically dissect your love affair and look at it, it is the most idiotic thing you can do. But it might have become the most beautiful experience in your life. So the logical dimension of life and the experiential possibility of who you are are diametrically opposite. So in yoga, we look at you as two aspects, the sun and the moon. You've seen the symbolism. You've heard of the word hatha, hatha yoga. Hatha means ha, means sun, tha means moon. So these are the two dimensions. The various symbolisms for this, you have seen Shiva being represented as half man, half woman, all these things to suggest there is a logical dimension to you and there's a dimension beyond that. If you do not explore both, you will be an incomplete human being or you will be only half alive. So when we say a spiritual process or yoga or whatever, what we're looking at is how to become a full-fledged life process, not a half-life process. Just the body is alive, that's not good enough. Everything in, in you should be a flame. Only then you will see whether something is happening or nothing is happening, it's worth being here. If you sit here, it's worth being here. If you open your eyes, it's worth being here. If you close your eyes, it's worth being here. Otherwise, whatever is happening, it's not worth being here simply because only a part of you is alive, the other part has, is yet to come alive.
there is a logical element to you which helps you to handle the material well. There's a dimension beyond logic, without it the subjective dimensions can never be accessed.